So another day went by, and that means another day where Twitter cries about something that's completely not a big deal at all, or complains about something that's actually good. And unfortunately, Mr. Beast seems to be a pretty common recipient of this kind of rage, which is honestly crazy to me, because most of Mr. Beast's content is literally giving money to people, providing money to people who don't have a lot of money, helping people out and stuff like that. And people, for some reason, like to hate on him for it, which is just crazy to me. That happened a few weeks ago when Mr. Beast was literally curing people's blindness. These people were blind their entire lives. Mr. Beast gave them this like life altering surgery and they were no longer blind. But people were saying, oh my God, he didn't talk about capitalism and universal health care in his videos. Therefore, he's terrible and we hate him. Well, this happened again today, bro. Believe it or not, Mr. Beast is going to upload a video where he gives 20,000 kids in South Africa their first pair of shoes, which looking at that objectively, you're like, okay, that's great. You know, most people don't give shit to charity. Most people are fucking greedy. This one guy, is giving 20,000 kids their first pair of shoes, that's like a universally good thing. It'd be pretty hard to find a way to nitpick this somehow and find a way to be negative about it. But alas, a lot of people on Twitter found a way to do just that, bro. There's local companies that are combating problems such as a lack of shoes and access to menstrual products that are more sustainable and will actually put money back in the community than this white dude. Yeah, maybe that's true, but do any of them have even remotely the same platform as Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast is a 110 million subscriber channel. The guy at this point is probably one of the most famous people on earth. Are more people likely to donate money to him or some fucking no name, no clout company somewhere? And Mr. Beast is providing a megaphone these issues. And people will probably donate to these companies later down the road because of the awareness he's creating. So it just makes no sense. The guy has a huge platform. Most people with their huge platforms promote like fucking degeneracy and shit like that. This guy's actually trying to do good in the world and you criticize him. Why not criticize all the other celebrities? who do fucking jack shit with their money. Why don't you do that? But instead you're criticizing like the one guy that's donating his money? It makes no sense, bro. Hassan Piker, who's somebody a lot of these retards worship, does jack shit of his money. He buys a mansion that's millions of dollars. He spends money on porn stars and drugs. The guy does nothing, but his whole shtick is being a fucking communist Twitch streamer. But the guy ironically doesn't redistribute any of his money. Meanwhile, somebody like Mr. Beast, who's probably like a capitalist or at least a lot more centrist than somebody like Hassan Piker, is actually donating a lot of his money and helping people. So really goes to show you how these people actually don't give a fuck if you do anything. As long as you're saying the right thing in the right way, they don't actually care about actions. They only care about words. Hassan Piker's saying the right things. He doesn't do anything, but he's saying the right things. But Mr. Beast is doing way more, but they don't give a fuck about that. The reason why Mr. Beast continues to do good charity work, but then never discusses the systemic failures that cause a need for it to begin with, because then he wouldn't have anything to make content out of anymore. Or, or get this retard, he doesn't run a political channel, so he's not going to talk about political issues. He runs an entertainment channel. Probably Mr. Beast doesn't want to get into divisive political issues when his primary goal is to entertain people and give a lot of money away in the process. Really, it's a win-win. There's no need to complain about it. People praising things like this, like good guy Mr. Beast ignoring the reality that he makes a profit from these types of videos. This isn't really charity. Who cares, bro? Literally, who cares? If I'm an African kid who's got my first pair of shoes ever because of Mr. Beast, I'm not going to be like, well, he made money from this, so fuck Mr. Beast do take the shoes back. I don't want them anymore. They're not going to say that, bro. They're going to be grateful no matter what. So who cares whether he made money from it? They got the shoes. That's all that matters, okay? If I'm a blind person who's able to see for the first time because of a surgery Mr. Beast paid for, am I really going to be like, well, um, he made money from it, so make me blind again, Mr. Beast? No. I'm probably going to be very, very grateful because he cured my blindness. Am I going to give a shit about whether he made some money off the top? No, because what matters is that I'm able to see again, not whether he made money from it. But these people just love to nitpick. Oh, well, he made money from it. Who the fuck cares, bro? Oh, well, he didn't talk about, uh, capitalism in his videos enough. Who the fuck cares? He's donating millions of dollars to people to better their lives, and y'all are complaining about this, like, fucking irrelevant bullshit? It's just insane, man. Just appreciate a good thing. Don't see any of y'all donating to charity. None of these people donate shit, but you're criticizing the one guy that actually donates to charity, bro? It's insane, man. Why don't you donate some money to charity before you criticize Mr. Beast? Because otherwise, I'm not gonna take your opinion seriously, okay? because he's donating and you're not. It's that simple, bro.